Good morning traders, freetradingvideos.com. You're here with Breakout. Uh, we're going to race through this real quick. We can see the markets are down. Uh, one thing I want to point out is the NASDAQ is not down anywhere near as much as the S&P or the Dow. We do have oil down, uh, gasoline is following oil, gold is up, and our three stocks here, IBM, Chevron, Exxon, they are all down, and the gold ETF is up. So what we're looking at here is the DX. We're on a three-month daily chart. This is the U.S. dollar futures. Now we've got the trend line drawn in here, swing lows, drawn up through here to the swing lows. This is the uptrend we're in. To For this market to really rally, the dollar needs to break this trend line to the downside. That means we'd have all the money coming out of this safe haven of the U.S. dollar right now. Let's go to a 10-day, 60-minute chart. On the 60 minute chart, what we're going to do is we're going to put a trend line right through here so we can see the shorter term trend. Now in the shorter term time frame, and this is just looking at the last up leg on the daily chart, we can see we've broken this trend line. What was once support is now looking to be resistance right in here. So if this can maintain as resistance, this market has a chance to follow through to the upside and continue this rally, even though it doesn't look like it at this point. So this is something I'll be watching today. Next thing we want to look at will be, let's take a look at gold. And let's go back to the daily chart. This is the gold E-mini future. We can see we have a double top back here, swing low here, double bottom, and up we go. So if we come off the swing low here, okay, we can see the gold is pulling back to that lower trend line on the daily chart. Okay, right at 900. 900, we bounced off that yesterday. We can see we have support resistance right through there at 900. Gold needs to break this 900 mark to go to the downside, and then, again, all the money be coming out of the safe haven of gold. Let's go into the intraday chart here and do the same thing. Now, in the intraday chart, you can see we're in that downtrend. We need to maintain that downtrend. And one more chart for us. This is the 10 year treasury note. Now we're on the 10 day, one hour chart right here. You can see we've been in that downtrend for the last couple of days, which is great. Yesterday, we had this support. We finally broke that support. Now you can see we're back above that support right there. Um, We see right on that trend line right now. We're hitting us head right on this resistance right now. Again, we need to stay below this trend line for this market to rally. So these are the three safe havens. Okay, we looked at the US dollar, we looked at the gold e mini future, and we're looking at the 10 year treasury note future. And we need to stay below these trend lines, and then on the daily charts, we need to break the trend line for the market to really rally. I want to just give you a little bit of insight this morning on what I'm watching when I say um, we need to see money flow out of these three markets. So now you can see exactly what I'm looking at. All right. Here we are on the S&P E-mini future. And what I want to do here, we're on the 10-day, one-hour chart. That was the downtrend that we've been in for the last one, two, three, four days. Okay, we've been in a little bit longer than that, but this is the, the real hard downturn right here. Now we can see we broke through that yesterday. Okay, now we pulled back up. Now we're coming back. Now let's get some Fibonacci's on this. Coming off the low right here. We come right up through to the high right here. Okay, there's that 50% right there. There's that 61 right there. We are sitting just below, just on that 61. What we need to do is we need to maintain, a, need to close back above that 61%. That's basically breach what I'm looking for right there. Okay, what we, what we would be looking for in between the 50 and 61 would be what is known as the ambush zone. We'd want to stay with above that 61.8, otherwise we have breached that setup. So right now, that setup has failed. That's not a good thing. Uh, that creates potential for downside, creates probability for downside. So we'll have to monitor that. Real quickly, some news in the morning. GM uh, speculators looking for Chapter 11. Uh, retailers report sales decline in February. 
European and British Central Banks cut half a point on the interest rate, now at 1.5%. China can grow at 8%, but no new stimulus package. That's why these markets are down right now. They were looking for another stimulus package overnight from China. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Economic calendar, Nasdaq.com, and it is Thursday, March 5th. Monster Employment Index, we had Chain Store Sales, Bank of England, ECB announcement. So these are the interest rates announcement. We had jobless claims, 8.30. Okay, that's going to be the last jobless claims before our employment situation tomorrow. Uh, that will move markets. Productivity and cost will move markets. <coughs> okay, Royal Bank of Canada, cash index. Factory order is 10 o'clock. And we've got a couple more speakers coming out today at 10 o'clock. And that is it, my friends. Have a great and successful trading day. And I will talk to you tomorrow with the employment situation numbers. Thanks for attending FreeTradingVideos.com.